I'll be teaching you how to solve the 4x4. The 4x4 is not that complex and it's pretty easy. You, there are just a few more steps than the 3x3. So I recommend you, recommend you that you learn how to solve a 3x3 first. The first step to solving the 4x4 is to get one. After that, you must scramble it up. Now I have scrambled the cube. I recommend that you also do this. After doing this, firstly, we must build a center. So first let's understand the pieces. The 3x3 three three has only one center, but a 4x4 four four has 1, 2, 3, 4. So to solve it, we must first solve the centers. And moreover, there are two edges instead of one. So we have to pair the edges. Then only the 4x4 four four will become like a 3x3. Three three. Even then, there are parities, which means an edge can flip or two adjacent or parallel edges can be swapped. So there are algorithms for them. So first, we must start building the centers. I highly recommend that you know the color scheme. I highly recommend that you must know the color scheme. So first, we must build a bar. I highly recommend that you start with white. So there's one white piece here and you must search for another center piece. There it is. Now we must bring this white piece here or here. So we'll make a bar. So to bring this over here, we can do an F2 and then connect it. So it's, there's a bar. Now we must look around the cube for another white piece. Here it is. Now let's search for the other. It's right here. You can see that if we bring it up, these two are not in are not connecting. So what we must do is bring this over here, connect it, and now we have two bars. While you are connecting the second bar, make sure that you are not dis disturbing this. Let me give you an example. So in this example, the bar is here and the next bar we, we, we must make. So th there's one white heat piece here and there's another here. So to solve this, you might think it's as easy as connecting it. But when we look at the other side of the queue, when we move this up, this bar is getting destroyed. So we must move this out of the way, connect it. Now it's done. Once you have made two bars, we must connect them to make one color. So you have two white bars here. You can just to connect them you can do an f prime move and then connect them now you have a full white white face now let us do the yellow if you know the color scheme white is opposite to yellow so yellow should be here so you sometimes you might have a bar here solving the yellow might it's a bit complicated because when you move when you bring this piece down here, you are disturbing the white. Sometimes you might have a bar at the bottom, which is good. So first you must start by making a bar in this middle layer. You will notice that when you move this, you are not disturbing the white. So you can make a bar without disturbing the white here. Because most pieces, most yellow center pieces will be in the middle. So you can start, you see there's one piece, one yellow here and the other here. So you can do an F2. If you do an F2 and then connect them, it, it will not get connected. It will be like this. This is a wrong way of connecting them. Because when you move it down, the, the bar is not going down. Instead, only one piece is going down. So you must bring two pieces. So you must bring it back and this, you must do an F move. So that when you connect it, it makes a bar. So sometimes you might have you might have nothing on this. What I mean by this is nothing at the bottom. Let me give you an example. This is an example. So uh, white is opposite of yellow. So yellow should be here. So there's none yellow here. So there's a bar here. And to put this bar down, it's actually a bit complicating. So you might think you can just rotate it and put it in but you will be disturbing the white therefore 
I'll let me give you a simple trick. So, first you must put the yellow where it needs to go. So, we have done it. But you will see that it's disturbing the white. So, the yellow is here. So, you must do an F2 so that the yellow is out of the way where the white can rotate. Let me give you another, let me repeat it so that you can understand. So, this can be brought down and then you must move this out of the way. You must not do one turn. Otherwise, this yellow piece will go up. See, you must do two turns. So, now you can move this freely without disturbing this yellow bar. Now, you can bring it back. So, the, now you have kept the yellow face and put the yellow bar in. Now you must find, you must connect the next, the, now you have made the next yellow bar. Now you, you might be wondering, you might, you might be thinking, now I know how to do it. So you will, you will be like this and then you will be doing an F2 and bringing it. But you see that the yellow bar is still there. What you have to do is make the, make both the yellow bars in one so that when you move, this also moves with this also. So bring this down as usual, do an F2 and bring it back. That's how you solve the yellow. This is pretty intuitive. So what you have to learn from this is you have to learn to move things out of the way. So let me give you one more way. Suppose it's on the left, you bring it down, do an F2 and bring it back up. Now we have solved two centers. Now we must build one more center that is any of in, in the middle layer this is the middle layer you must solve any one of this center that is col any color that is red orange green or blue so I usually start with green but it's your choice so again we build a bar you will notice that we don't need to do moves such as this, this. you can just rotate it so that white is on your left and yellow is on your right or vice versa so green one one green piece is here and the other is here so you can just do an f move and connect it after that you you can search for the other this time the bar is already built after that you have to build the next green bar which is already built for me and you must keep in mind that you must not disturb this bar you will notice that Building the green center is as is easy as building the white center. So there's what you once you have built both bars of the same color, you must put the green on the left and put the wherever the green other green bar is, keep it on the right. So you can just connect it. Now you don't need to worry about messing up anything because you're moving only this layer. Now you must build something else. You must build the next. I highly recommend that you know the color scheme. Because if you build blue here, then you, once you try to solve it, it is not possible. So take a 3x3 three three and you will notice that <coughs> white is opposite to yellow. So it's correct. And green is in front. So on the right, red should be there. So I normally build red. So now let's build red. You must use the same concept as how we built the yellow. Sometimes you might have something like this. To solve it, you must bring this. You must do it without disturbing this. So you must move this down. Bring this over here by doing a U-turn and bring it back. So it's pretty easy. Now you bring this bar over here. You do a U-prime. Bring this down. Do F2 because you can move now move this freely without disturbing this and now you bring it back now you need to bring solve make another bar so one piece is here and the other is here so you do a u2 so that when you do a double turn like this you connect it now you move it out of the way this time if you do an f2 and then bring it back you are going to ruin it so what you do is you do a u prime and bring it down twice now once you have built two bars, use the same concept as you build the yellow. So you make them both the same line so that you can rotate them. Now just bring this down, do an F2 and bring it up. Let me give you one more example. 
if it's like this you keep them on the same same way so that you can move them and both of them move so you bring this down do an f2 and bring it up now let's just check our progress so we have white in the front green in front of us so white green and below us there's yellow it's correct now let's look at the right yes there's red so what is the opposite of green it's blue and opposite of red it's orange so we must bring we must build the orange over here because it's opposite to red and blue over here because it's opposite to green this is the last step and it's pretty easy so to build the last center what you have to do is first understand the color scheme in this you might have many cases which i will go through one by one <coughs> so case number 1 which is this you have an l shape and l shape on the other so what you have to do is find the odd color that is blue over here so orange should be over here since orange should be over here since red is opposite to it so blue you must first rotate it so that the odd color is orange then what you must do is you must you must understand that red is over here because it's opposite to red uh, sorry orange should be here because it's opposite to red now what you have to do is bring bring this this orange connect it bring it move it in such a way that when you bring it up it forms a bar in this case when you bring it up it does not and if you put it this way you're not do making anything what you have to do is do it in such a way that it makes a bar so you will notice that this is the place you lift it and it's making a bar so you bring it and kind of and you move it back sorry You bring it so over here orange should be this should come you must make them in a straight line now you have bars so you the main concept of this last center is to make bar you must keep turning and bringing it moving it out of the way and bringing it back until you get bars now this you must make them in the same way and you must uh, red is orange should be here so you bring this down f2 and bring it up and you have completed your centers so let's just check if we have our centers correct so white is over here and green is in front of us so when we turn to the right white is in front of red should be in front of us in the left there should be orange and behind green should be blue correct so now you have completed your centers successfully keep twisting and twiddling the cube until you solve the centers 